We are learning more about a seven-year-old Canton girl who was shot Monday night inside her home. Just moments ago, her doctors and mothers spoke out at Akron Children's Hospital. That's where we find News Channel 5's Bob Jones. Bob, what did you find out? Well, Leon, a short time ago, we did hear from the doctors and the mother, and seven-year-old Iprasia Pleasant remains in critical condition in the pediatric intensive care unit here at Akron Children's Hospital. But remarkably, doctors said just a short time ago that she is expected to make a full recovery. The second grade girl was shot twice in the chest on Monday night during a home invasion. Today, doctors showed us her chest x-ray, a bullet still embedded in tissue. That bullet missed Iprasia's heart by just three or four centimeters. Today, the girl's mother wiped away tears as she talked about what happened. Iprasia and her eight-year-old sister, Passion, were staying at their uncle's house on 6th Street Southwest when suddenly two men kicked in a door around 1130 Monday night. The uncle, Jason Hassan, was shot in the arm. Iprasia was shot in the chest, and a dog was shot and killed. Today, doctors said the little girl is very lucky, and her mother had this message for the gunman. <laughs> what you do in the dark always comes out in the light. And it was some coward, cowardly stuff. What number of women in that house? They didn't even know my brother was in there. So how can you just go in somebody's house and just pull a gun out on two little girls and some women? After the shooting, a Canton police officer took Iprasia to Altman Hospital himself instead of waiting for EMS. That was quick action that could have saved the girl's life. The girl was stabilized at Altman Hospital, and then she was taken by helicopter. It's called Air Bear here to Akron Children's Hospital, where, again, she remains in critical condition. And a short time ago, I spoke with a detective down at the Canton Police Department. He said the case is advancing very well. They do have some leads, but at this point, there are no arrests. Live in Akron, Bob Jones, News Channel 5. Thank you, Bob, for your report. Thank you.